What's going on, Jared Athletes? In today's video, we're going to be discussing five simple strategies for staying lean anywhere in the world. If you're new here, my name's Dan. I am the Jump Rope Dude. I help people lose weight and improve their health with my main fitness tool being Jump Rope. I recently got back from a trip, a little surf trip to Mexico. And as I was down there, there was some strategies and some things that I was unconsciously doing that I pretty much do every time I travel to make sure that I'm staying you know, lean and in shape. A lot of these strategies are not insanely different from what I normally talk about on this channel, but the mindset usually of when you're on vacation or on some sort of work trip is different. And so these strategies have to do with that. It has to do with being away from home or being away from your regular routine. How do you handle still being able to have a fun life and go see cool things and experience new cultures, eat good food everywhere, all while still maintaining your fitness and weight loss goals. Overall guys, the biggest takeaway that I wanna give you from this video is that being lean year round and traveling and doing all this fun stuff doesn't have to be hard, difficult, or boring. I think there's a mentality within fitness and weight loss that people are like, well, I can either have fun and do whatever I want, and not be fit or I can be fit and have a super boring life and I definitely live a life that is very fun very spontaneous I get to eat a lot of great things that I like and I still am able to stay in great shape so let's talk about it all right number one walking 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 is a huge one uh, if you're like me vacation most certainly means that I'm going to be eating some indulgent food whatever country I'm in and I'm definitely going to be enjoying some cocktails and some beers now not always I'm, I'm not saying you guys should be drinking or eating indulgent food on the road I'm just being realistic because that's typically what I do when I travel to a new country and although I'm going to be working out I probably won't be working out as perfectly or as long as I would be if I'm home so walking gives me this kind of way of burning calories without being like, oh man, I didn't hit five 40 minute jump rope workouts this week. It keeps me burning calories. So for this reason, I prioritize walking everywhere, which actually starts at the airport. So I'm one of those people that as soon as I get to the airport, typically I like to get to the airport early. I will walk up the stairs instead of take the escalator. I will purposely carry my bags with me instead of like putting them on a wheelie thing. I kind of view the airport as like, I'm gonna be sitting for a while, so let's get some workout in, you know? If I get to the airport early, I will just walk around and around with all my luggage or like whatever carry-on I have and then try to get close to like, you know, 4,000, 5,000 steps, depending on how much time I have. Then once I'm on vacation, I no longer view any vacations as these things where I go and sit at an all-inclusive resort and just, you know, drink and eat myself until I can't, you know, drink or eat anymore. I view vacations as like, yeah, we're gonna eat some good food, we're gonna have some drinks, but I'm also going to walk the entire time. And so whether I'm in Madrid or some other European city, I'm always walking around, I'm going to art museums, I'm going, you know, I'm talking to locals, I'm finding out where the cool things are at. Instead of taking public transportation or a taxi, I'm just walking to the next area. If that's in some remote area, I'm going on hikes, I'm going, you know, maybe on a surf trip in Nicaragua, I'm going to see the volcano. Maybe instead of driving everywhere on the beach, I'm taking walks on the beach, things like that. The point is, if you walk everywhere, that's a great way to burn a bunch of calories and stay in shape. With without feeling like you have to do this super intense exercise routine the whole time. Number two, there's two parts to this because I didn't wanna split these up. So number two is prioritizing your protein and eating mindfully. Now the way that I approach eating when I'm on the road is I mostly try to get protein or that's the first thing that I think about eating when I'm at a meal. I do this because protein fills you up, it helps recovery, it helps building muscle. And typically if I eat a protein dense meal, then I'm less likely to snack on things like Mexico, for example. The things I eat in Mexico are like chicken mole, arechera, I'm not saying that perfect, but arechera is like a little like flank steak, it's, it's very delicious. Or I'll eat ceviche because if I eat or like fish, like fresh caught fish, for example. Because if I focus on eating protein first, that probably means that I'm not gonna have as much of a craving to eat like a whole bag of tortilla chips and guacamole or a whole bunch of tortillas or a whole bunch of cake or bread-based items. Simply put, when I focus mostly on eating protein, I don't have as much of an appetite to fill up on a bunch of other crappy processed carbs. Um, also, if I'm drinking, I try to prioritize my protein. I don't want to be drinking cocktails and having a beer and then also be eating like pizza and chips. I try to make sacrifices where I can. So it's like, 
If I'm having some drinks, that means I'm eating pretty much only protein. And as you can see up on the screen here, I put up pictures of a bunch of the meals that I ate in Mexico. You'll notice that, and this goes into the second thing, eating mindfully. Most of these meals are nothing crazy. There's like eggs, bacon, fish, mashed potatoes, steak and mashed potatoes, uh, chicken mole. But the point is, none of these meals are huge. I eat protein dense meals and I, I stick to just eating my meals. I don't really snack outside of that. Now, if I'm on a surf trip and I need to like just get food in me because I'm in the water paddling all day, then I might eat a snack. But for the most part, I try to save the food that I'm gonna eat for like whatever the culture is of the area that I'm going to. I'm like, all right, I wanna eat their best food. And then, you know, the rest of the day, I'm not walking around going to convenience stores just like snacking on chips and stuff because that's wasting your calories when you could be spending your calories on trying the good, awesome foods and flavors of this world. Also on the eating mindfully thing, because I'm traveling, I know there's gonna to be tons of opportunities for me to eat, and I'm not gonna waste those opportunities. Like, I'm not gonna go on vacation and just be like, no, I packed all my food in Tupperware containers. No, I'm gonna try every little thing that I can get my hands on. The difference here is that when you're eating mindfully, just don't overeat if you're trying flan. Again, I'm gonna use just Mexico as my example because that's where I just was. They have a lot of flan down in Mexico, which is like a dessert. Instead of eating four or five of them, I'm just gonna eat one and be like, all right, that was pretty good, I like that. The overall goal here is to prioritize your protein, enjoy the beverages and foods of wherever you're going, but just be realistic. Don't go overboard and stuff yourself to the point that you just feel like crap the entire trip. And if you do have a day where you're like, yo, it's time to indulge. Let's say you're in Italy, you're like, yo, we're doing gelato, cannoli, and pizza. If you have a day like that, then make up for it the next day. Like don't just spend your whole vacation eating a bunch of crappy food and not moving your body and then wonder why you don't feel good or you have to get back on the wagon after you get back from your trip. Just be mindful while you're there. If you guys are having difficulty with your diet and just want a more simple approach, we made a free PDF. All you have to do is click the link. Uh, it's in the description and enter your email. And it's just a PDF printout of like the foods that I eat and the strategies that I employ to make eating to stay lean, enjoyable, and pretty easy. So check that out, it's in the description. Number three, bring your jump rope and use your body. Self-explanatory, pack your jump rope. Now typically when I go on trips, I'm not doing as long of workouts, like 30 to 40 minutes. And that's usually just because I'm walking all day or I'm surfing and I'm just kind of out and about and I just, I might have just like 15 or 20 minutes to get a super intense workout in and then maybe hit like 100 push-ups in my hotel room. But the point is, it's everything that we preach on this channel. Bring your jump rope with you so that you can get a couple small workouts in or just whenever you have a little bit of time. And also, if you just have a hotel room and you maybe can't jump rope, then do squats, do push-ups, just move your body in some form or fashion. There is really no excuse to going on a trip and saying that you can't exercise. If you have a jump rope with you, it makes it a lot easier. And by the way, some of my favorite times are when I bring my jump rope and find a new view, a new little alleyway or street or scene to to get my workout in. And that, that makes working out on vacation even more fulfilling and fun. If you guys want the jump rope that I always bring on vacation, it is the Get Lean set from Crossrope. You guys already know it's our favorite for fitness and weight loss. It's linked up in the pinned comments or the description of this video. The link is also right here. For 15% off, you can enter code do the thing. And yes, we do get a little kickback if you use our code, but it just helps me make, make more free content for you guys. So check it out, check it out. All right, number four, dude, avoid excuse my French on this one, avoid the fuck it mentality. What I've noticed, and I'm speaking from personal experience, is that a lot of people, myself included, when I used to go on vacation, I'd be like, oh, dude, it's vacation. It's time to just like lay around and drink and eat all day and not exercise. And I'll just make up for it when I get back. You're gonna associate vacation as like, it's fun, but I ruin all my goals when I go on vacation and then I have to make up for it when I go back. Do your best to just avoid that mentality that you're just like, dude, it's vacation, I don't care. I can like, you know, gain 20 pounds and whatever and then I'll deal with it when I get back. Have fun, eat great things, drink good things, but try to do all those first three things that I talked about, like moving your body, walking a ton, 
making sure that you bring your jump rope. Just do things so that when you get back home, you don't feel like, oh man, now I have to like lose all that weight again. I really actually look forward to traveling frequently because I don't view it anymore as like, oh man, I'm really gonna like destroy my body when I go on vacation. I just view it as, no, I'm gonna, you know, I might have to make sacrifices here and there, but I'm still gonna be able to do all my workouts. I'm still gonna eat great food. I'm still gonna have a couple of drinks and I'm still gonna be able to you know, within reason, stay lean and stay on track to my goals. And number five, I also lump together because it's kind of like just overall health is drink water and sleep. If you are drinking lots of water, chances are that, well, that's going to help curb your appetite. So you're not going to be eating as much, but staying hydrated and resting enough just ensures that your body is running optimally, which is super important for weight loss and staying fit. These are very basic things that I'm telling you, but I think in my personal experience, um, I used to be someone who would go on vacation or travel and just completely forget about their fitness routine. And then I would get home and I would just feel like not as confident and I'd feel like, oh man, like every time I go away, I sort of destroy my goals. Or if I go away for the weekend, I destroy my goals. I shifted that mentality around the time that I started Jump Rope Dudes. And now it's at the point where like, yeah, I still have times where, you know, I travel and I eat too much food and I'm like, oh man, I really fell off the wagon here. But it's like, dude, if that also happens to you, just get right back on it. Don't beat yourself up about what you did, but try actively to not just be totally mindless on vacation and eating and drinking whatever you want, not sleeping. Have a good time, but make sure that you're moving your body and... I think what this will do is help you to not only, you know, stay on track to your goals and be lean all year round, but it's just going to make traveling a lot less stressful and a lot more enjoyable because you're able to still stay fit, but you're able to have all the fun that vacation and traveling affords you. So I guess what I'm saying is guys, there's no reason why you can't be lean and have fun, hit your goals, have a great time, all that stuff. There, there's no reason why it has to be one or the other. I, I very much believe in approach to life. That is, I have fun and I do what I want, but I also am relatively healthy and feel good and progressing and performing even as I age. That's the whole point of Jump Rope Dudes. So yeah, that's my little rant today. Would definitely appreciate some comments on this video. Tell me what you guys struggle with. Do you struggle with weight loss on vacation? Maybe some of you do, maybe some of you don't. All right, guys, that is all for today's video. If you have any questions, comments, drop them below, and we'll see you on the next one.